Hi, this is Michael Palermo with the Developer Relations team at Here Technologies. In this video, we're going to learn what it takes to size a map, whether specific dimensions or even full screen, and some tips and tricks to learn along the way. So first of all, let's consider we have a very simple HTML page, boilerplate code, simply initializing map object as we've seen many times in our documentation. Now, in this example, on line 18, a div is what is going to represent the container for that map. It's the only element that is in the body of the HTML. Everything else is simply script. Now, if I were to run this page exactly the way it looks, this is what would happen. As you can see on this page, there's nothing here. Why is that the case? It's because there is no reference to any kind of dimensions for this map. Now I'm going to expand the style element in the header. And I have this commented out. So I'm going to uncomment these values, or at least this one. I'm going to give this a very specific, let's say 800 px by 600 px. And again, this is referencing the dimensions of the element, the div with the ID of map. So with that change saved, I return to the page, refresh, and I have exactly that map dimension and uh, it's a fully interactive map. If I hold the Alt key down and move around with my mouse, I, you know, it's, I'm getting all the advantages of this vector-based map, but it is contained specifically in the dimensions that I provided. A common question asked is, how can we make this map go full screen? What needs to be done is changing these values here to 100% of the view's width and 100% of the view's height. So with those values now there, I'm going to save this, return to the browser, and refresh. When I do that, the map does go full screen. And even if I go full screen with my browser, I can also see it's taking up that space. However, you may notice that there are some scroll bars uh, on the side. This may or may not happen in your browser settings. Well, the reason for this has to deal with how the div itself is contained in the body of the HTML. So if I uncomment this out and simply say there should be no padding or no margins in the body at all. Save that, return, and refresh the page. We'll now see that the scroll bars are gone, so a very clean looking map. But let's address something here. I'm going to bring this browser in to about this size, and I'm going to reload this page. So I have what I want centered, the city of Palermo. But I'm going to go ahead and resize this browser. Now you'll notice that as I resize the browser, the map itself did not fill in this area. So if we want that to happen, if that's the desired state, then what you would need to do is make sure that you have a line in your code such as this adding the event listener for resize. And then the response of that is, let's make sure that we get what the adjusted view is and resize accordingly. So with this saved, I'll go back over to our browser and run the test again. I will refresh. And when I scroll out, you'll, you can see that the map is also 
filling in accordingly and if I go full screen it's going to fill in full screen. So in this video you learned that you need to set the size of your map. You need to also make sure that if you want it to be clean along the edges to have no padding or margins. And finally you'll want to make sure that you have a line in there that provides the behavior you want when and if the browser window is resized.